If you benefit from Medicare services, make sure you take a close look at your statement because the agency has seen an increase in complaints regarding potentially fraudulent charges for COVID-19 test kits. Here is what to do if it happens to you. This is a Medicare statement shared to our newsroom. If we take a closer look, there are multiple charges that state, quote, provision of COVID-19 test, non-prescription, self-administered and self-collected use, FDA approved. The amount charged to provider, $200, $96 approved by Medicare and $94 paid by Medicare. These charges appear multiple times on different dates, March 22nd, April 7th, April 13th, April 16th and 17th. However, the owner of this account says their physician did not order any tests and they never approved those charges. The statement lists other labs as the ones ordering the tests. I reached out to Medicare and Medicaid services and a spokesperson told me that CMS implemented over-the-counter COVID-19 test demonstration to test the efficacy of Medicare covering over-the-counter COVID-19 tests without cost sharing during the COVID-19 public health emergency, which ended on May 11, 2023. As a result of the spokesperson said the agency has identified an increase in test kits complaints and has identified providers that started billing for an unusually high volume of kits. CMS has taken immediate action to hold all payments for COVID-19 over-the-counter test kits and has implemented over 100 provider payment suspensions to date. In April 2023, the Department of Justice announced criminal charges brought to 18 defendants for various fraud schemes that allegedly resulted in $490 million in COVID-19 false billings and theft. This included charges against suppliers of COVID-19 over-the-counter tests. So what can you do if you notice an unapproved test kit charge on your statement? Only share your Medicare beneficiary identifier with a trusted health care provider. Report fraudulent charges to 1-800-633-4227 and request a new MBI if yours was compromised. The Medicare and Medicaid Services spokesperson also told me that they are investigating these complaints and are also collaborating with law enforcement partners on similar COVID-19 fraud schemes.